and welcome back to my channel. So, I know I haven't been on YouTube for the past two weeks. I decided instead of filming during Christmas and New Year's, I would just take those off as like a vacation. Um, so, to start off the New Year with a bang, we're going to do a get ready with me for my birthday. Today is Monday the 4th, so it's my birthday. <laughs> but because it's raining and California is in like shelter in place right now, I can't really do much. But I can get my free items from the different places that I go to. So I think I'll take you guys along with me. I think that'll be fun, right? So without further ado, let's hop in to the video. So you know what that means. We're gonna do all my bath and care first. Um, I already brushed my teeth because I don't like brushing my teeth on camera. I think that's weird. But if you wanna know the products that I use, leave comments down below and I'll do a video of like what I use for my teeth care. Um, so yeah. So to start off, we are going to use my Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. Um, it looks like this. I'm almost, I don't, yeah, I'm almost out as you can see. I mean, I don't mind it, it's nice. So I think I mentioned it in my last Get Ready With Me. Yeah, I think I did, but if not, this is a multitasking scrub cleanser. Intensely wakes up tired skin with energizing, panic, ginseng, and coffee beans. Gently smooths and refines Skin looks radiant and refreshed. Gently massage over damp skin using circular motion and rinse well. Basically what I'll be doing. So that's my face wash. My only issue with this cleanser is that it has like those little micro beads and they kind of just go everywhere. Not my cup of tea personally, but you know, there's some buddies. So next, I'm going to take my Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. I feel like I'm almost out of it. I think I said it in my last video. But I really need to get rid of this. So we're just going to spray it over my face. And I got it in my nose. So while this sits, I'm going to start getting changed. I'm going to start changing. So I'm going to pause you guys real quick, change into some clothing, and I'll be right. All right, so I have some clothes on, but I want to be appropriate, so I'm putting on a robe. So next, I do normally use a serum. You've seen in my videos, I use the Drunk Elephant ones, but I haven't filmed my Sephora VIP sale. I know we're in January. That was like a few months ago. I still want to film it, okay? Don't, don't come for me, all right? So instead, I'm going to skip my serum, but I'm gonna use this. This is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. I've used this quite a bit. I don't think you can see. Yeah, I've used a little, a, quite a bit of it. It's not like a lot. I don't smother over my face. I do about like 10 drops. But the direction says to apply to entire face morning and evening before heavier creams. It, yeah, I'm just using it over my entire face. But I mean, I like it so far, no issues. The only thing is I'm only applying it during the day. I don't do it at night because I do have AHAs that I use at night. So I only use it once a day, which is not that bad. Not bad. If you guys have used this before, let me know if you've had an experience of it, of the product coming on going white. Because I don't know if it's because of my toner or my, um, my face wash. Because around here, it like starts to go white. I don't know, maybe it's just a me thing. But yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you've noticed that too, like the product, even though it's clear, it goes on white. I don't know. All right, again, I'm going to pause you so I can 
Okay, let this sit for a little bit and put on some more clothes and I will be right back. All right, so I am back and now we're gonna do the rest of my fuss. So I have about one, two, three, five more products to put on my face. Don't worry, they're kind of like light products. It's not. I know my skincare routine seems to be like a lot, but I promise it's not. I mean, kind of, but not really. So the next thing I do is my under eyes because I want to make sure now that I'm 26 that I am taking care of my skin. So I use the Ula Henderson Banana Bright Eye Cream and I just put it underneath my eyes like so. And I just rub it in like this just to give me a more brightening effect. like that and then the next product it really depends on my skin so right now let me see if I can get close up to you guys I have some bumps on my skin you probably can see that because of my bonnet if you're wondering why I'm wearing a bonnet I decided that I'm going to be doing the no heat not every day challenge. So I'm gonna try to keep my natural curly hair up to date and only flatter my hair if I really need to, which will probably just be like big events, like for my birthday because it's raining. I'm not flat ironing my hair because once my hair is flat ironed looking cute and it rain hits it, it's done, it's over with. And I'm not having it. So that's why I have a bonnet. I washed my hair last night. If you want to see my hair care routine let me know i'm not going to do it in the shower i'll probably just be sitting at my desk explaining all the products that i use i mean i'm st still this is still a journey for me so yeah so anyway back to skin so i'm going to be using my la roche posay um if if clar duo dual action acne gel just for my spots, just to do like a spot treatment. I mean, this is a spot treatment. So I think the last time you saw me, I think I was just applying the product onto my skin with my finger. Now I'm using a Q-tip to do it because it's more sanitary. I think Tantor would be very proud of me. If you do not know who Tantor is, Please go to Disney Plus and search Tarzan. Thank you very much. I have a little whelp here, so I'll put some on that little whelp too. <clears throat> so yeah. Next, I'm going to use my Fourth Ray Beauty White Tea face milk. I ran out of my La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay um, moisturizer. So I've been using this. It's okay. It's not as heavy duty as I like. I did order from Sephora the um, Youth to the People moisturizer. I think I got the not the one with collagen, or not collagen, not the one with... You know, I don't remember the one it was. It, I got the one with, in the green jar. I didn't get the, the most popular one because I don't... It didn't... That one didn't seem like it would work well with my skin. Uh, so I opted for the other one, which should actually be in the middle of. Sorry, I'm like trying to organize my shelving area. My brother moved back home, so I have to consolidate the bathroom into one side. So that's fine. Maybe I'll do a video of me doing that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Next, we're going to do, once this is all set, I'm going to put on some sunscreen. This is the Verst 
Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum 35. Now, you may be wondering, Francesca, it's raining. Why are you putting on sunscreen? Well, I'm putting on sunscreen because no matter if it's sunny, rainy, cloudy, snowy, doesn't matter. You need to put sunscreen on because the sun's rays are still coming through the clouds. So you're still, your skin is still going to be affected by sun damage. So I like to prevent, prevent it. Even when I'm at home, I'll put on sunscreen. Even if I'm in the house. Because I think Hiram said, even if you're sitting by the window, your skin will still react to the sun's rays. And I want to keep my skin looking young. So I'm going to put on this. This is the sunscreen I was telling you about in my um, Target video. I love it. You see? No white caps. Because it has like a peachy tone to it. I was wondering why my lighting was kind of funky. I'll fix it in editing. At least I'll try. Get it on my neck. And then last, before we hop into the makeup portion of this video, is I'm going to use a facial spray just to lock everything in, make sure my skin is still moisturized and all that. Oh, I almost forgot chapstick. Let me put on my chapstick real quick. So this is from Scoosh. I mentioned it in my What Quarantine Made Me Buy video, my very first one. I'll link it right here. But it's a small brand in the Bay Area. And they make cocoa butter. And I really like it. I think I have a Scoosh product in my empties. Yeah, I do. It looks like this. This cocoa butter. I like it. It makes my lips soft and not cakey, you know? Alright, now we're going to use my Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. And we're just going to spray my face. Alright, so now... I'm just a mess. So now this is done. I'm gonna take you into my filming room so we can do my face. All right guys, so I am in my filming space but we're not going to do all the bells and whistles of me setting up my whole thing. We're just gonna do this vlog style. Meaning, lighting's gonna be bad, but it's fine. I mean, it's gonna be on my phone, so I did break my rule. I did have to open my beauty blender from my Sephora VIB sale because I couldn't deal with the brush anymore. The beauty blender is superior. No one can tell me otherwise. So I have my beauty blender and I have my foundation. This is the NARS Radiant Foundation in the color Valencia. It's medium five. So I'm gonna just squeeze some on here and pounce it in onto my face. God, I miss my beauty blender so much. I mean, I do have the e.l.f. sponge, but it's not, it's not the same. It's really not the same. Cause with the e.l.f. sponge, you'll see, has like a flatter edge. And I like the rounder edge to put on my foundation. I'm trying to do this quick because my breakfast is coming. I mean, you know, my mom, we ordered IHOP. So, this is the face and how it's looking. I, as you notice, I didn't put on a primer. I just didn't feel like putting on a primer today. I have to wash my bonnet, which is fine. Okay, foundation is on. I am now going to take my concealer, my Tarte Shade Tape in medium. And I'm going to put this under my eyes like this. Nothing too fancy. Also, 
down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. Again, nothing too fancy. I'm going to take my beauty blender again and blend it all out. All right, now to set my under eyes, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I know it's been a while since I have used this. I'm using other powders. So, I'm gonna take this, put that underneath my eyes just to bake a little bit. And then I'm going to take my powder brush, which is this one right here, and put some all over my face. My lips are still hydrated. They're not like super um, dry, but they're hydrated. Now I'm going to dust off what I have. Make sure I get my nose too, just so I said I powdered it. Alrighty. Now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to speed through it because why not? Take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to do my brows. Those are my brows. Do I want to do this eye look? Yes. Even though I'm wearing all this green on my pants, I'm still going to do like a kind of. My coworker just texted me. I love. Ugh, I don't know. On my birthday, I just feel all simpy. I don't know why. I just do. All right. I'm going to put my eyeshadow primer cushion on. The Urban Decay one in Eden. And the eye lock I'm going to do, it's not going to be extravagant. I'm not feeling extravagant today. As you can see, I'm using my Modern Ready Pop palette today for my eye look. And to start, I'm going to take the color Bon Fresco, which is right here. And I'm going to just put that in my crease. Like so. I think this is just going to be like a, a four color look. Nothing too extravagant. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to take this color right here. It's called Venetian Red. And you're like, Francesca, why are you going to do under eyes first? I'm just going to go halfway. Like this. And then I'm going to put a little bit up here. Just so it connects like that. Nothing super, super extravagant. I am going to try to diffuse this red right here with a bigger color or bigger brush. Bigger and softer brush. So like a brush like this. So let's diffuse. 
for putting a little, and I'll put a little bit more on it just so I can pop. I'll clean it up, don't worry. Looking good. Now we're going to cut my crease and we're gonna use this brush, this little Mac brush. take the color veneer which is this color right here and I'm gonna put it on my lid I put veneer on and I'm also going to take this mellow cosmetic a uh, glitter chrome eyeshadow in the color rose gold and just for like, a little added pop. Next, I'm going to put on my white liner for underneath my eye. I don't know if that showed up or not. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm going to put on some falsies. I'm going to use my Mala Santa falsies from uh, Mirame Lashes by my friend Tiffany. If you haven't checked out her lashes, go do it. They're bomb. I love them. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so lashes are on. I had to switch it up because the other ones are too big. So I'm using Berio, another um, Mirame Lashes. So they look like this. I mean, they're still dramatic, but they weren't as dramatic as the other ones. I want it dramatic but not like super dramatic you know all right let me put on my lower lash mascara and then we can finish up the rest of the face i'm not gonna do my lips on camera because i have to eat so that's done. So I'm going to take my bronzer opening act by ColourPop. I'm going to bronze up my face. I try to leave it all. Darkness has won the fight. Is there someone there? A voice that will turn back the light. Take me in. There's that for blush. <coughs> My Milani blush in Romantic Rose. I'm gonna pick that up here. Next, I'm going to take highlighter, take my Smashbox uh, 
Spotlight and Gold palette. And I think I'm going to take the middle color right here, which is called Crank It Up Gold. Put that on my cheekbones. And that's it. So, let me do my hair. I'm not going to do that because I want to see the mess that I did. And then, yeah. Oh, the color for my lips that I'm going to use. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. It's called Drop Dead Red. I think it'll be cute. Alright, so let's go back to the bathroom to see how my hair turns so out. So this is how my hair looks. It's cute. I love it. It's still a little damp, which is fine because I have to go out in the rain anyway. So yeah. Now I'm gonna take you on my day. Okay, so I forgot to vlog while I was in Ulta picking up my gift, but I have my cousin with me. Say hi. So I went to Ulta to get my birthday gift along with another item. And for January's birthday gift, it's some Lancome mascara, which is cute. It has Zendaya on the front. And then I got my Starbucks. And now we're in line for in and out You excited, Gabriella? It's probably going to take us 20 minutes to get through this. Well, she was calling the people in line ahead of us crackheads because it's 12 o'clock. No, well, it's not even 12. Well, it's 4 minutes to 12. But who gets in and out? People who, are, people who are dead. I mean, we're in line, so I can't talk. But, like, <laughs> there, there's, a, no, there's a long line. Yeah. I mean, they're dedicated to their in and out, so. But, and then, Gabrielle, do you want to tell the peeps what else we're doing today? We're going to Sephora, mm -hmm. Jamba Juice, mm -hmm. and Union Cake. Yeah. I got a Cold Stone Cake. My cousin's best friend made me a cake, so I'm excited. So excited. You're only 26 once, people. So. so I didn't film when I was at Sephora and I ripped off my lashes and I forgot that I didn't end my vlog. So I wanted to show you what I got Ooh, from Sephora and Ulta. Like the birthday gift so you guys have an idea of what to get. So the birthday gift, I showed you the Ulta one. So for Sephora, they have this Laneige pack where it comes with the lip mask sleeping mask and moisture cream which i'm really excited about and yeah th welcome thank you for watching my birthday vlog if you haven't already don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my other videos and bye guys